Hey, Dave here again with Soul Home. We are actually out here in El Cajon, California, at our most recent installation. We just finished up. This one had a few unique challenges. First of all, the customer wanted whole home backup. They were sick of the rolling outages here, and we had to figure out a way how to get them a whole home backup in a wall that just didn't have a lot of space. I'll show you why it didn't have a lot of space, even though it might look like it did. So we have our main meter panel here. Um, so this was an old RMA adapter that was used uh, with the previous installation. They actually had an existing DC coupled uh, solar system with an inverter. So we actually got rid of, rid of both of those inverters and replaced it with a Solark. Now everybody knows that I'm a big fan of Enphase and the Enphase IQ batteries, but in this situation, uh, it was not the right fit. So Soul Home is now expanding their offerings. Uh, so the Solark and uh, batteries to go along with it um, is now gonna be probably a lot of what we do, especially after April when the new net metering terms uh, go into play. So I'll show you why the Enphase solution just wasn't the right fit for this job. So. We do have a meter panel here. This is a, actually a junction box that we installed to run to the new equipment over here. I'll show you that in a second. But the problem we have is the Enphase has just so many pieces of equipment. Um, if you want off-grid and battery backup capabilities, you gotta have the off-grid switch. I mean, that thing's about 36 inches tall, 20 some inches wide. Uh, you need the AC combiner box. That's about a little bit bigger than this. You need the actual batteries themselves, which the new ones are 50 and a half inches wide, uh, and, and I, think, I can't remember exactly how tall they were, 20 some inches tall, and the, uh, all, all of that equipment, and you need the backed up loads panel, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna get everything out of this, all your circuits out of this and into a panel that will be energized in an off-grid situation, uh, that turns into a lot of wall, okay? And we just didn't really have it here, because it looks like we have space here, but the code in California, or at least in SCG&E territory, is with this gas riser right here, uh, there is a three foot setback on each side of that riser to the left and to the right where you are not allowed to put any equipment above it. And that doesn't help us in this situation. We can't put anything here. So the next thing we have along the wall here is this fence. So the only real spot that we had was right here. And because we have our outdoor uh, air condenser unit for the mini splits they have installed in the house. Um, and, you know, we have just around 50 inches of actual clearance. And we fit everything right here. 15 kilowatt hours of storage, fortress power, the Solark 15K right above it. We managed to get our gutter in there and our backed up load sub panel. So the heart of the system here, the Solark 15K, this thing is a beast. I am super impressed. What an easy installation easy commissioning compared to the end phase commissioning you could spend what at least a half a day if not a full day if you got to do all the firmware updates and everything and you got to come back the next day i mean we basically had this up and running in less than a half an hour and it was our first one so uh super super big fan um, so i'll kind of give you a peek under the hood here uh, super easy to get to. It is nice. It does have this plastic cover here to protect you from doing anything stupid. Um, you can actually hear it running right now. So this display, the sun's just peeking around the corner. So I'm not sure if you can get in on that, that display. So you can kind of, yeah, it's really hard to see, isn't it? Yeah, let's go there. There you go. Yeah. So what we got 5.7 kW coming off the roof, just a little bit going back to the grid, but it's mostly charging up those batteries, which is sweet. And barely anything in the house, 0.3 kilowatts. So, um, yeah, super, super easy. It's an all-in-one machine. And this is why I thought it was such a great fit for this install. Everything fits right here. You know, you just can't do it with the end phase. Um, so after this, we've got, um, so the batteries. So this is the outdoor rated system from Fortress. Um, this is called the Dora Rack, uh, which will fit up to four uh, E-Flex 5.4 kilowatt hour batteries. So actually we, had, we, have, uh, we have three in here, so there is space for one more if the customer feels like they might need another one in the future, which is great. Really simple installation. You have your, uh, your CAN bus communications between uh, the batteries. So they're all talking to each other. Uh, eventually they will talk to the Solark as well. So the Solark will show a state of charge on there, but uh, we just talked to Fortress 
and it sounds like there's an update for the uh, for the CAN bus communications. They're going to send us a dongle that uh, will let us update the firmware on these so that that's possible. So right now we have the Solark uh, running in, in basically voltage mode. So it knows the voltage of these bat batteries. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is the same chemistry that Enphase uses. Um, so I'm a huge fan of that chemistry, very, very safe. Um, so this will know by voltage when to stop charging. Um, so safe install for now till we get that adapter to update the firmware. Um, so yeah, very impressed with this really great outdoor solution. If you don't have anywhere inside to put your system, you know, this sticks out of the wall, let's say just maybe a little bit over about two feet. Um, so you don't, you just don't need a lot of room. Um, so what happens, solar comes off the roof, it'll charge the batteries up. So they, we just turned this thing on got about an hour ago. So it's just been charging, charging, charging. They came shipped, looked like at about a 25% state of charge. Um, so it's going to take a little while to get them all charged up. And then, so this is great because it has a 200 amp capacitor. This is whole home backup, all in one. 200 amp main breaker, built into it. 200 amps in, 200 amps out to your loads, right? So the house circuits, which would be in this. This is our backed up load sub panel. It should look familiar. So that's it. There's the whole house. And what we're gonna do in a minute, we're gonna turn off the main breaker and we're gonna simulate a grid outage. Just so you can see how quickly this thing transfers over to backup power. So one of the requirements here in California is rapid shutdown at the module level. So I'm told that SolArc is coming out with their own module optimizer. Um, I'm excited for that to happen because then it'll all be one ecosystem with the SolArc. But until then, we are using Tygo's products. They do have module level optimizers up on the roof. We do have 36 modules up there with 36 optimizers. Um, with this device here that talks to those devices on the roof, this is called the Cloud Connect. And all we have here is simply a little transformer, 24 volt DC. And this is wired up to the gateway, or they call it the TAC, the TAP, Tico access point, uh, which is up on the roof, which gives the keep alive signal for the uh, for the optimizers for each module. So we do have a rapid sh shutdown switch over here, which I'll show you. So right here, and actually the la he put the label on the side here and basically turn that over and uh, shuts everything down, shuts off the roof, uh, actually shuts off power to the house too. So that is uh, for first responders only. And we did test it and uh, it works, shuts down right away. So you will notice that there is actual a generator input here on the Solark 15K, which we are not using. They don't have a generator here. Um, but this is a really neat uh, kind of programmable interface that Solark came out with. So you, you can actually change the behavior of this input. In fact, you can actually make it an output. So one of the neat things you can do is you can use it as a load control. So you can tell the Solark, you can program it up here, and say, hey, I'm gonna use this for heavy duty load. So say you had a load panel that had a spa, you know, big air conditioner, something you didn't want to work when the power is out and went off grid, well, you can tell it, hey, this is actually load output and it will turn off if the grid power ever shuts down. So it automatically sheds those loads, um, which is really cool. You can also use it for AC coupling for other inverters, for solar systems. So you can use you know, if you had an existing, say, an Enphase system, we do a lot of Enphase systems, um, which are microinverters, uh, you would essentially use the Enphase system as a generator to backfeed and fill up the batteries. Um, but there's a lot of sizing involved in that, um, which I won't get too involved with, with this video. Um, but it is there, there is that capability if it's sized appropriately. And the, the solar can actually control the other inverters. So if they were Enphase or some other string inverter, uh, through frequency shifting by changing the hertz that the alternating current is uh, outputting. So it raises the hertz slightly to uh, make the inverter turn off. It thinks there's a problem with the grid power because it thinks this is your grid power. Really cool system. So very, very impressed with this setup. Um, and I do like the added efficiency you get. You can get almost 14% more efficient by doing a DC coupled system uh, with a battery backup uh, with N phase or an AC, a, a AC coupled system. By the time you go DC to AC on the roof and AC to DC back in the battery, then you discharge the battery back to AC, you're losing a lot of power.
this is all native DC. Uh, I think it's 99.9% .9 efficient, the MPPTs, which is insane. Uh, and then I think coming out of the battery through the inverter is about 96% efficient. So you're, you're hardly losing anything. Um, that's a big win for me, especially if you're going to be off grid. So you're actually getting more usable power out of the same kilowatt hours of storage, all things being equal. Yeah, so good system, works as designed. Gonna close all this up. Um, I, I'm just super impressed with what a small footprint it takes up. And I think this will open up a lot of options for us when more and more people are gonna need batteries when the new net metering terms uh, come online in April. Um, so hopefully this will go away at Solark, start seeing their own, own optimizers that'll all be managed through the Solark. Um, so yeah, let's do a grid down test. So we're going to come over here. Well, actually, let's start here. So as you can see right now, let's see if you can get in there. Ruben, the cameraman. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, grid is, oh, we got zero from the grid. Well, that doesn't, let's hit this button. Uh, yeah, it's basically even. It's hardly doing anything. But what we're going to do, I'm going to go just uh, come over here. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Hit this breaker and turn this off okay we got a little cleaning up to do here we got to put some of the the blanks in here um, for where the breakers used to be so let's go back and check out the inverter so now there is no grid power so let's see if the solar did its thing uh, yeah let's get up on there yeah let's see if we can no, it's not, not the best day for this, I guess. Uh, there you go. Yep. So as you can see, the grid is down, no longer connected. House is still on. Batteries are still charging because we still have solar. Brilliant. And it could go like this as long as the sun is shining, really. Um, so very impressive system. And I hope to be putting in more of these. So, yeah, if you need help with uh, solar, batteries back up batteries. Uh, we're total nerds about it. We love it and would love to help you out here in Southern California. Um, in fact, we'll go up uh, to Orange County as well now, not just San Diego County. Um, but uh, yeah, you can go to our website, mysolhome.com or uh, give us a call with the information provided in the description.